Court is calling 2024 CR 2336, State of Texas versus Larietta Nicole Holmes. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Defense? Greg Gamering. Are you Ms. Holmes? All right, you're going to need to speak up so the court reporter yeah, can hear. Did you review the document entitled Application for uh, Community Supervision or Deferred Adjudication with your attorney? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Did you sign it? Yes. Did you review the document entitled Court Admonishments and Defendants Waivers and Affidavit of Admonitions with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you're charged with injury to the elderly bodily injury? That's a third degree felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from two to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Yes, if you have a plea with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call and the right to remain silent? Yes. Did you understand by entering this plea, you were giving up those rights? Yes, ma'am. And did you intend to give up these rights and enter into a plea? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that the court would grant your application for deferred adjudication? If for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could find you guilty, sentence you up to 10 years in prison, and up to a $10,000 fine. Yes. Off the record for a moment. Excuse me. Oh, no, it's not a problem. This system is new and it's, it's taking us a while, but we're going to be just fine. We're back on the record. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? She has, Judge. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? I believe she does, Your Honor. Do you believe she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Holmes, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter the plea? No, ma'am. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, ma'am. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, what? Yes, ma'am. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial. Did you review the plea bargain page with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. According to the plea, state is recommending deferred adjudication. They're taking in consideration 2023 CR 8418, and there's to be restitution of $3,700.85 to John Ripley. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, sir. Defense? Yes, Your Honor. State? It is, Your Honor. Did you review the waiver of appeal paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal the only items that can be appealed? are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Counselor, are there any such motions? No, Your Honor. Outside the agreement, the state is requesting that your community supervision be for a term of two years. There be a TAP evaluation, 150 hours community service restitution, no contact with John Ripley or Feather Point Road, San Antonio, Texas, 78233. Did you understand those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes. Then to the offenses charge, how do you plea? No contest. State any evidence? No objection, John. And state, have you conferred or spoken to the complainant? Yes. Yeah. All right, thank you. You may be excused. Did you review the document entitled Wavering Consent to Stipulation of Testimony and Stipulations with your attorney? Did yes. you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes. Again, it's you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call and the right to remain silent. Yes. Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony. Did you understand? Yes. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and the court will review the same.
After reviewing state's exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will defer finding of guilt as you apply for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, my client has obviously since this case occurred back in July of 22. Uh, she's obviously stayed out of trouble, Your Honor. She's been to court. Uh, she is going to school. She's uh, becoming a business let me know the less. Esthetician. <laughs> she well, currently she works as an esthetician, which is my understanding is skin care, mm -hmm. um, and that's what she does for a living. But she's also going back to school uh, to get her degree in business administration. Um, she has two children, a fifteen-year-old, a seventeen-year-old that she takes care of, um, and this is a difficult case, obviously for her judge. Um, this is a true no contest plea, and this is what she believes is in her best interest. Uh, she wants to. Get off probation as soon as possible. Do everything she can, you know. So we just ask you to grant this and let get closure. All right. So, Miss Holmes, do you understand when people ask you to leave their property, whether you think you're being evicted legally or not, it's always best to leave and then just handle things civilly. So, if this were a case where you didn't think uh, you were being evicted properly, all you had to do was, you know what, I'm going to follow civil case. And it appears that it is not a civil case that would be filed in district court based upon uh, what the amount is. So you would just go to one of the JP courts and you just file it. And there are plenty of people who file that every day. And that's how you solve that, as opposed to coming here. Now you have all of these extra fees and you have this. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, of course, I always have to ask this question. The piercings underneath the lip, were those painful? No, ma'am. Okay. I didn't get them at the same time either. I got them over a period of time. So what order did they, did you get them? What What was the first one? I had got this one, I was like 16. Mm -hmm. And then I got this one, I was like 19. And then I just got this one and it just compliments when I smile. Oh, okay. I'm always wondering. And the tattoos, what are the symbols for those? Um. It's really not too much no symbols, butterflies, a um, music symbol. I play the piano. Oh, wow. Um, Bible verses. I grew up in the church. See, I always wanted to play the piano. And I was going to take it as an elective in college because everybody's like, it's an easy elective. Okay, I'm in a class that's supposed to be for beginners. Everybody in there had a piano at their home and had been playing forever. They were truly taking it as... Okay. Yes. I couldn't even answer because our professor would say, in order to answer the roll call, you had to pay, play the note he wanted you to play. I'm like, yeah, I'm out you of here. You dropped that class? Uh, I dropped it, but I dropped it before they were going to give me a W. I saw the writing on the wall before the end of the week. I was like, no. The judge, as you know, you two that want to learn the piano, you two will teach you immediately. All right. We're going to see. Well, don't, don't put... Uh, professors out of business. <laughs> All right. So uh, you're currently employed. Okay. So this is what the court is going to do. The court is going to sentence you to two years deferred adjudication. Take in consideration 2023 CR 8418. And state, do you have that? This is, there's going to be regular reporting by Zoom. Thank you. All the person. Thank you. This will be regular random UAs. I always have to tell people who are new to probation. When you're on probation, you're not allowed to drink alcohol at all, even at your own home. There's you're not allowed to do marijuana even at your own home. Because what that's gonna result in is that gonna result in a positive UA. And people think these are my rules. These are the rules that the legislatures have put in place. So if you're UA today, is everything going to be fine? Um, All right. What's going to be in your system? Um, All right. So we're going to do random UAs and we're going to test for levels. So those levels need to start going down. You understand? Mm -hmm. And do not, if, if they file a motion to revoke because your levels are increasing, do not come back to the court saying you were around people who were smoking. 
because you have children. You shouldn't be around people who are smoking because it gets in your clothes and children end up smelling like marijuana. Their clothes smell like marijuana. And then children who are at school tend to tease them. And we don't want that. There is to be 150 hours of community service restitution. Now I speak to that, Judge. Yes. Is it possible uh, if she can show semester grades going towards her business administration mm -hmm. degree that can satisfy some of that community service? Mm -hmm. I was just about to say. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Uh, ESPN. The community service out. Yeah, we're, we're here. The community service hours will be waived once she provides proof of her BA. And honestly, you should be able to finish that, hopefully, before your uh, community su supervision has expired. But if you show the court that you're actually taking classes, and when I say take classes, your attorney know I will mean this, not just one class a semester, you understand? Mm -hmm. And I understand that you work, I understand that you have children, so for you, it's going to have to be at least four hours a semester. And that's not full time. For this court, at least eight hours is full time. But because of everything that you have going on in your life, uh, probation, she needs to do at least four hours per semester. There's to be anger management. Mm -hmm. There's to be no contact with John Ripley. or uh, the address on Feather Point Road. And there's to be the restitution amount of $3,755.85 to John Ripley. And there's to be field visits one time per month for two months. Uh, probation, is there anything else? Thank you. Proof of employment within 30 days. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. And Judge, uh, was the fine probated? Is that something I need to address? Uh, there was no fine asked for. Perfect. You're welcome. Uh, probation, anything else? Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? All right, did you review the document entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it and did you sign it? Yes, I did. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Off the record, in this court, to be successful in probation, communication is key. If you have an issue, let your probation officer uh, know about it. If you feel as though your probation officer isn't addressing it, you can always come back to uh, the court and we'll take it up. All right, do you have any questions? Yeah. All right, good luck to you. Thank you, Judge, may be excused? Yes, Thank once she, she talks to probation.